What's up, G.I. Joe fans? And welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. And guys, we have a super request from a super subscriber, Mr. Ethan Cole. Wanted to know if we had the G.I. Joe 1996 Battle of the Bulge Soldier. Ethan, we got you covered, man. The answer is yes. All the way from 1996, this is a limited edition collector special. As you can see, uh, these limited editions were extremely limited and numbered on top of that, making this an extremely collectible uh, G.I. Joe. Let's bring this guy in. Uh, we have the uh, African-American uh, version of the Battle of the uh, Bulge Soldier. Beautiful artwork. These guys were released in 1996. And collectors simply bought these guys the second they hit the toy store shelves they were gone um, these were very very popular um gi joes uh during the 1996 period i was assimilating my entire my collection building my collection so this is one that actually got past me this particular gi joe actually got got past my radar uh, i was off my radar and um Knew about it for a minute, but I just, like I said, there was so much, there was so much out there to get, you know, in 1996 with the new release of the classic collection G.I. Joe's. So now you had the, um, the, um, the G.I. Joe's with the, on the Hall of Fame bodies, and then you had the classic collection G.I. Joe's coming out. So it was tough. It was really tough. And as you can see, uh, in this G.I. Joe Battle of the Bulge, Bulge soldiers travels he originally came from toys r us and that's how much the price for this guy was, was nineteen dollars and 99 cents uh back in 1996 at toys r us and you could get these guys at toys r us um, i don't know if these guys were toys r us exclusives i don't think they were um you could get these guys at toys r us kb toys uh, you know, a number of places. Let's take a look at the top of the box here. Beautiful box. Yeah, but Ethan Cole wanted to know if we had this guy. And so, yeah, we got this. You know, we got this guy. Uh, this guy was in our, our archives. This particular one. Here's a side shot of the box. It's got the fifth panel. I love the fifth panel because it really protects the window box. Guys, if you're just joining us, please like and subscribe. We do a lot of requests. We have fun. We hang out in our, our museum collection room and we do really cool videos. And we talk about the hottest collectibles on the market. And we have fun in the process. Oh, let's, let's turn this guy around in the box. Oh, there's the other side here. We have all these guys in our, in our museum collection. There's our Battle, Battle of the Bulge soldier. Nothing on the back will get you a... a just a blown out look at it. The box is in beautiful condition. Especially for a figure that's uh that's over 20 years old. There it is, 1996. Let's open this guy up. And that fifth panel came with a really cool. 
Let's get it open for you. Storyline, you know, side story on the Battle of the Bulge Soldier. Let's get you a blown out look at it. Beautiful done, beautifully done, beautifully done. There's your exclusive tag again. Historically, this, you know, this is what make these boxes so cool. You know, they give you these these um, beautiful breakdown of historical facts and timelines uh, in this particular uh, figure's history. You know, with this Battle of the Bulge Soldier, what transpired during that time period. It just, you know, it's just it's very cool, very cool. And let's get you a shot of our. Battle of the Bulge Soldier. As you know, these um, particular figures are on the are built on the uh, Hall of Fame body, big durable body. You can see the those big hands, which was another cool factor for me. Can't see it. He's got his helmet on underneath his hood. Beautiful. This is a big white parka, winter parka, beautifully made. Let's get you a shot of. There's his dog tags, U.S. Army dog tags. Not a ton of equipment. Here's his his rifle, bayonet right here at the the knife here for the bayonet part. He's got his belt on with. Grenades, canteen, canteen cover, beautiful boots, he's got the green outfit on underneath, then he's got his parka on, uh, so this guy was really layered up, really cool. Guys, what do you think of the Battle of the Bulge Soldier? Do you have this guy? Are you looking for this guy? This guy is not um, super rare. I wouldn't go any higher than $50 uh, for this particular figure. But he's most certainly not $19.99 anymore. And if you can find this guy $19.99 in this condition, C10 Museum, quality condition uh then by by all means definitely buy them but if you need this guy for you uh for your collection uh i believe coswell collectibles uh carry carries a, a lot of these uh joes um this particular line of uh gi joe uh amazon ebay you name it it's funny how that works out, though. You know, the, a lot of the whole the Hall of Fame line, collection line, never really got that high high level of collectability. We as collectors truly drive the market, and I've I've, I've shared that with you guys numerous of times in the uh, in past videos. We truly do power the market and drive it to what it is now. Beautiful buttons. But a figure like this should be way more collectible. But the the Hall of Fame G.I. Joe's simply I, they truly, truly don't get the respect that they really deserve from the collecting community, the G.I. Joe collecting community. Or the action figure collecting community for you know for that matter, they they simply don't get they don't get that type of love. And they were marvelous, marvelous figures. I mean, it's like I said once again, uh, extremely uh, kid friendly because of their durability. These were toys that were truly meant to be played with. Uh, they weren't not meant to to be put into museums. <laughs> <laughs> but
But we have to preserve the historical factor of G.I. Joe. So that's why we're bringing you guys, bringing you guys uh, this beautiful Battle of the Bulge G.I. Joe soldier mint in box. Guys, we have an action-packed week for you. A superb week for you. We're excited. Uh, we have some more fun uh, surprises and more goodies um, coming your way. So guys, you know the routine. Grab your favorite beverage. Hop on the couch. Kick back. And tune in to the MIB. Master Museum Channel. God bless. and keep collecting.